Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, you interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in Form 1, Lesson 21. And the topic is Farm Tools and Equipment. And the sub subtopic is Metal Work uh, Tools and Equipment. We are on the fourth category of Farm Tools and Equipment. Remember, in the previous uh, lessons, we have dealt with the three categories. The first one was the garden tool set equipment. The second one uh, which followed was the livestock production uh, tools and equipment. And the third category was uh, it dealt with the workshop tools and equipment. And in today's lesson now, we are working on metal work tools and equipment. On to the lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, the, you should be able to, number one, explain the various uses of metal work tools and equipment. And the second one, uh, state the various ways of maintaining metal work tools and equipment. Then uh, on metal works and equipment, there are several uh, tools uh, which are found there. The first one, we have a ball pen hammer and a cold chisel. Whenever you see a cold chisel, you must see also a ball pen hammer. These are the tools which are work together, meaning that a cold chisel is the one, who, it depends on uh, the ball pen hammer to be struck so that you can cut thin sheet of metal using a cold chisel. We have different examples. We have the one which is uh, manufactured by in the industry and the one uh, from the Jua Kali sector. The one which is at the bottom is from the Jua Kali sector and the one which is having a very good angles, uh, straight lines, it is the, from the industry. Then we have the second type of uh, metal work tools and equipment. We have the Tinsman snip the tinsman snip. This is a, a tool uh, that is normally used to cut thin sheets of metal. Thin sheets of metal, for example, the iron sheet, whenever you are working with iron sheet. Then uh, we have uh, uh, the other one, we have a hacksaw. A hacksaw is the one uh, which is normally used when it comes to cutting of metal rods. As you can see there, uh, the, the, the metal rods which are used during construction work. And also we have the metal plate. Also when it comes to cutting of the metal plate, uh, the person who is uh, cutting uh, is recommended to use a hacksaw. Then we have a plier. A plier is used to cut wires and there are several types of wires we can have insulated wires for example the ones which are used in electricity you can use a plier to cut then we have the barbed wire an example of barbed wire is there also we have the the the, the plain wire you can also use um, a hacksaw to cut a plain uh, wire then we have wire strainer a wire strainer, it is an equipment which is used during uh, tightening of wire during construction of a fence, especially at the corner. If you want to make the, 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 the lines, the fencing lines to become taut enough, you must use a wire a strainer. It is used for straightening and straining the wires and making them taut whenever it comes to construction of a fence. Then we have the center patch. The center patch is normally struck by the ball pin hammer whenever you want to indicate a point on a metallic surface. Then we have the rivet is another uh, a tool. Uh, rivet is normally uh, uh, driven by a ball pin hammer and therefore it is hammered. It is used to join two metallic pieces of iron sheet. And therefore, whenever you want to, con uh, to join two pieces of metal together, you drill uh, two holes on each, uh, one hole on one uh, piece of metal and the other one. And after striking them hard using a ball pin hammer, 
uh, then you will have the shape as well indicated here the metal plates joined by the livet you can see the in this diagram here there is uh, some rivets which are already, have already been worked on using a ball pen hammer to connect the two pieces uh, of metal tightly together. And also you can use the riveting machine whenever it comes to uh, connecting the rivet to two pieces of metal or joining two pieces of metal of metals using the rivet. Then we have spanner is another tool which is normally used when it comes to uh, metal work tools. And there are different types of spanner. We have the open spanner. It is open and uh, at both ends. And also we have a uh, open spanner uh, which is adjustable as you can see there uh, on the diagram, uh, the second diagram in the upper region on the right hand side. Then you have the open and ring spanner. In this case, you have a ring on one side and an open on the other side. And also you can have a ring spanner. Uh, whereby it has two rings or uh, at the extreme ends. Uh, the care and maintenance of tools. How can we uh, take care of these tools? Uh, how can we take care of the, for, ex for instance, a wire strainer? How can you take care for the ball pain hammer? The first one is um, you replace the, the what the sharpening uh you replace the broken uh, handle for example a hacksaw if the, if the the handle is broken you must replace it and also uh you have the sharpening of the cutting edges uh for example we have uh, the the cold chisel here you should sharpen it you should sharpen it by hammering it so that it becomes sharp and therefore facilitating uh, uh, the work it is meant to uh, to do then we can go to the 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 activities of today, uh, it, it, uh, they will mark the end of the topic today. And the first question is, state any three reasons for caring and maintaining uh, of metal work tools and equipment. The second one is, state uh, the functions of the following tools. Uh, the following tools. The first one, you can uh, state the function of a ball pain hammer. The second one, you can state uh, the function of a cold chisel. And also, you can state the function of a wire strainer. And for reference, uh, you can refer from secondary agriculture student book one and the, uh, the publisher, we have the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, you can contact us or you can reach us through the following addresses. The first one, SMS, through uh, the number which is well displayed for you. The second one, you can use YouTube at Elim TV and uh, the third one, uh, Facebook platform at Elim TV. And finally, you can tweet us at Elim TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Uh, till next lesson, goodbye.